All right, what up, people? My name is Izzy J. Real name is Oluwashola Oyekon Raymond. Uh, I'm an artist on the Jewel White Entertainment. Uh, my debut single, Obi Joe, just got out. It's about two months old, so if you've not heard it, you should go listen to it. Like, you be my original person, no. You don't give me the original love, no. I feel like by your original Gucci, yo. I suppose say you be my original person, no. My original person, no. It's J Day, I show. Before I go sign to Jewel White, first of all, I, I've been like a big fan, major fan of the scene because I love the way the brand artists, you know, from the early days of Kiss Daniel and Sugar Boy, especially when the rapper song was, you know, popping. So I've been always sending my mail, doing, doing good stuff, like sending me your mail. And on this fateful day, you know, the chosen day, all right? So I, I got a mail back and it told me to, you know, send my biography and include my number in it. And I did that and uh, I got a call back, you know, from the access manager, right, Louisa Williams. And uh, she told me my stuffs are good, but it could get better. So, you know, I just felt like super good because for somebody like that to actually hear my stuff and like it, so it really meant a lot to me. So um, I was told to come, like, I feel this half stuff on audition. And um, actually, I wasn't told what I was going to do at the audition. So, you know, it was, I was super nervous. So I got there and I met the producer, the in-house producer, Ola Beats. And I was asked to freestyle on three different beats. That was like super difficult for me because I'm not really, I'm, I'm, I do freestyles basically. But like I was super nervous, you know, doing it like duo what is that thing means, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so to me it was really big and I had to just kill it, you know, as much as I as I can. So I did what I could and I got a call back and we finalized I was gonna like sign my contract and stuff like that. So that's just the like cost. Long story short. The boss has been amazing, like especially since I dropped my debut single or I've been getting bosses from like different African countries like Tanzania, Africa. And you know, before I dropped the song, I was like skeptical, like are these people going to accept my sound? Are these people going to accept this new face? So it was it was really I was really skeptical about everything, but thanks to God, everything has been smooth so far. I've been getting buzzes from South Africa, Tanzania, and people really love the sound. So I'm just, I'm just really glad that people, you know, have accepted my sound. So you guys watch out for something I'm dropping next, but still, you guys should just, you know, go listen to Origo. The video is just about a month old and good, good stuff. Directed by Paul Gambit, produced by All Around the Beat, the in-house producer. Great song. How I feel about it, I'm, I'm not sure right now they still don't do collaboration. Like right now, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm not allowed to do collaborations or not. But de de definitely, I feel if it's something that's going to be favorable for my brand, they will definitely. Because um, Joe Y is all about, you know, bringing you and bringing out the best in you. So, um, if collaboration is going to be helping my kind of brand and my kind of music, then definitely they will do it. So, um, yeah, that's just that about that. The relationship is cordial, like, we're family, you know, it's um, all music. Music is a thing of love, so we don't have to, you know, compete or anything. So. They're doing different music, you know, passing different messages. So definitely we're gonna be having different audiences. So you know I'm just I just wanna do my thing and of course he's doing this and you know we're just having a good time, amazing time. Joe White is you know it's a family thing. It's like you know, like I said before, it's like family, it's a family thing. We just uh, we just do music basically. And uh about the management, like, I feel I'm really opportune to be in the management like that because they are people that are really passionate about music, you know, and that's like the most important thing. So it's, it's been great. It's been, an, it's been a wonderful experience working 
and doing music under the imprint of Worldwide. So just that's just it for me. It's something so really big. Like uh, I can remember when I was writing my biography about a few months ago. Like I put in the biography that in the next few years. One kid somewhere in Africa to be able to say I want to be just like Izzy J. That's the dream. You know, I just want people, young people, that will be coming after me. You know, to be able to, you know, want to say yeah, I want to do like this. I want to dress like this. I want to sing like this. You know, so that's just that's just the dream, basically. My fans, yeah, it's like the bosses have been really, really coming in and yeah we just the, the, the discipline is there now you know what I'm saying the girls be coming in and be buzzing DMs and all that but <laughs> but then again we are ma managing it <laughs> it's, it's been fun anyway it's been fun yeah I just aspire to be like one of the greatest artists that would you know come out of Africa in general so yeah that's the dream and I'm really working towards that. So I'm really working on my music and I'm trying to be a you know, better version of myself. You know? And big shout out to Jiwa Wadi, I really helped because, you know, being in the label has really helped me, especially musically and, you know, attitude wise. So um, big shout out to them. Big shout out to Imperial Jason, big shout out to everybody in the management. I feel like my I'm not going